Uh, hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to be doing a video on buying a used guitar and uh, things to look for when you're buying a used guitar. Uh, I pretty much broke it down into four main steps, so it should be pretty easy to follow. I'll link uh, the four steps in the description, so it's easier to follow. Um, you don't have to listen to me, you can just read that if you really want, be that way. Um, but uh, So you want to evaluate why you're buying the guitar? That's one. Finding an appropriate price for the guitar? That's two. Uh, thinking it over before you actually buy it? Three. And four. Actually meeting the person and checking the guitar out. So on the first step, evaluate why you're buying the guitar. Well, think about why you're buying that guitar. The thing that probably led you to buying another guitar is probably being a guitarist. We all like uh, buying tons of gear and stuff. We're always milling on Craigslist or uh, you know eBay, GuitarCenter.com, uh, any medium to show us guitars and stuff on the guitar website. We might want to pick up a second hand one you know just because it's a lot cheaper uh, and we don't want to buy a new one. Uh, or we want to trade something or something, right? Happens to the best of us. Uh, which happens to me sometimes too. But think to yourself, do I really need this guitar? A lot of people, they say, oh, it's a good deal, so therefore I should buy it. Uh, disagree with you strongly, good sir or ma'am. Um, just because it's a good price does not mean you should buy it. Are you actually going to be playing this guitar? You know, that's so big. A lot of people just keep buying guitars and guitars. And, you know, they're never going to play these babies. Um, but, more, or they get given them. People give them to them and they don't ever play them. Uh, I actually have a shirt that says, You can never have enough guitars. My grandpa gave it to me and it's pretty awesome, but uh, I disagree with that. You're going to have to take care of these guitars. You're going to have to maintain them. Hopefully you play them all the time. I think they're like... I don't know. I kind of think of them like people. I got to play them every day. You know, they want... They need attention, and um, I need to give it to them. They're like babies. Uh, so, think about why you really want to buy this guitar. You know, uh, is it worth... Are you willing to pay that much, to Think about it. Like, a lot of times, like, oh, you know, 800 bucks for this guitar, that's great. That's a good price for that guitar, but are you really going to want to fork out 800 bucks, or are you just going to do it on a spending spree? Um, so the next one is finding an appropriate price on the guitar. That's kind of self-explanatory. You just need to go online, probably your best bet. Go to GuitarCenter.com, Amazon.com, eBay.com, uh, <laughs> EndertonsMusic.co.uk. <laughs> Uh, but just look at these used instruments, and um, look at the guitar that you wanted. Same concept applies with the bass, too. I'm just saying. Uh, but so you would look at the prices for them, and if someone's selling it for more than that, go, you bro, you know, I saw this on GuitarCenter.com for you know fifty dollars, not seventy-five dollars. You're trying to rip me off, dog. And uh, they might come down and just say, or you could be like, they're having a promotional sale, 10% off all used instruments, and then they'll be like, but you got to give me 10% off too, or something like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because um, people really will want to make the sale. They'll come down a lot, trust me. But most people, when they say firm, push comes to shove, they'll, they'll be pushed. They will. Um, so yes, definitely do your research on it. And, um, I would, uh, that's pretty much it on that one, I guess. Uh, oh, and try to, you know, you know, good ideas, try to trade stuff, too. Just be like, I got all this stuff I'm not using. I'm going to pick up another thing I'm probably not going to use. Might as well trade some of my old stuff, and that person might want it. So that makes perfect sense. It's a win-win. You get rid of some of your junk, they get rid of some of their junk, you save yourself some cash, and voila. Uh... So the next step is thinking it over before you buy it. Don't do this on impulse. A lot of people do it on impulse. Seriously. Don't buy on impulse. Bad idea. Take it. Take yourself a few days and just say, I'm going to think about this. Don't be a brush me, dog. Uh, 
because a lot of times, you know, we get excited. Oh, I got an awesome deal. Yeah, I'll meet you tomorrow, man. You know, can you meet tomorrow? I'll meet you. I'll meet you tomorrow. Um, you know, I'll meet you at Claire's. I'll meet you at Claire's. And you don't want to meet there. That's probably not the best place to meet. Just saying. They, so think about it. Do some more research on it. And you know what I would you do? Go to your local music store and play that guitar. Okay, that was stupid to say because most time the local music store only has crappy squires and stuff because they're a business and they want to make money. Uh, and they don't have really cool guitars. So if you're like, nah, I want to play an ESP Edwards ECY E dash CY 165, they're not going to have that. They only have that on eBay, but you can guarantee that guitar is awesome. Totally awesome guitar. One of my favorite guitars. Look it up. Um, anyway, uh, so just try to play it. Uh, and if, say, if Guitar Center or something has it, buy it from them. Uh, and then if you just return it if you like it, or if you want to keep it, keep it. But they'll give you your money back. And uh, I think it's store credit, so never mind. X that idea. Ask, ask your friends who are guitars too. If you don't have any, ask me. Uh, I spend a good good chunk of my life in music stores and guitar center and stuff just playing random instruments just so I can say, you know, someone goes, what does a, you know, I don't know, what does an ESP Horizon 1007 play like? Um, I'd go, well, I know what the LTD one plays like, and I'd, you know, I'd give them that. Um, take a look at the woods too in it too. Just saying. Take a look at all the specs again and everything. I assume you have if you want to buy this instrument. So next is meeting the person, which is like the final stage. Kind of the most important one too, I think. You gotta have game face on. I'd recommend bringing some of your friends with you. Because a lot of times it's scary being by yourself. You gotta live the thug life, you know? So you gotta bring people. Don't be afraid to say no too. If you don't want the guitar, it's a, it's a beat up piece of crap and you don't want it, say no. Just be like, no. Abstinence doesn't work. And no one got time for that. But you have to say, you know, you, I'll give you some tips, alright? So when you pick up the guitar, hopefully you're not meeting in a parking lot so you can plug it in. That's a big deal. You want to look at the, a few key things. Overall cosmetic thing. I'm using Sherwood, of course. This is guitar's perfect flawless, amazing, sexiness guitar. But, um, I'm just giving, just showing you for visuals. Things you want to check for is hardware. See if it's oxidized or anything. Or swap out for a lower end thing. A lot of times people will be like, oh, this has a nice trim. I'll put my crappy one on another instrument and trade it off to this guy. So make sure that's not the case. Make sure if it's plugged in, when you're turning these knobs and stuff, there isn't scratching and stuff, because you'd have to pay to get that fixed, and that'd be annoying. Um, make sure not every all the hardware is oxidized. A lot of times it'll be all rusty and crap looking like that. Yes, it'll perform fine, but who wants an instrument like that? <coughs> you gotta think of post market value. My voice is getting very hoarse right now. Wow. I drink some Diet Coke right now on camera, but uh, that's kind of like unprofessional. But uh, I bought this baby today. Endorse me, Diet Coke. Endorse me. Hook me up like a brother. Um, but yes, make sure all the hardware is poly. Make sure when you're trying out the pickups, when it's plugged in and you're playing it, a lot of times it might not have it set up to your specifications, but you just want the pickups to be working and everything, or else you're going to have to swap them out. That song's pretty cool. Um, I favorite some pretty cool songs. You check out my favorite list, because I have a lot of like suicidal and depressive black metal songs on it. It's like and power metal songs and stuff. Uh, once in a while, like one out of every 200 videos might be funny. Um, also, next, I would check for fretware. You see the frets? You want to see if they're dinged up or not? Uh, like, so, if you want to check if a fret is dinged up, you would just, like, pull the strings out like that and see if there's little grooves in there, like divots. You don't want the fretware to be too extreme because then you look through the guitar refretted if it's a neck through like this, um, but if it's not a neck through, then uh, you could just replace a neck, but um, that's a lot of money. 
frankly. And if you're buying a used instrument, might as well just get it new at that point if you have to buy a new neck. Um, so ch next thing, a very common thing that people try to rip you off on, the back of the neck right here, if it's cracked, if you see a big crack there, then say no. Because that means you have to replace the neck. Unless if you're willing to replace the neck, then fine. Be my guest. I'm just trying to help you out here. Also, if you see cracks in the joint around here, if it's neck through, or even if it's a bolt on, you see cracks in that joint, that is not good. Another thing to look for that maybe people don't know a lot is if the binding on it, if it has an instrument with binding, like see how this has awesome binding on it, because it's, it's an awesome guitar. Um, well, if the binding is shrunk, kind of, and it goes in, and like the fretboard, it goes in, and like you could, you could feel the difference between where the binding is and the neck is. That's bad. Also, not horrible if it's a little, but if it's a lot, it's terrible. Uh, and if the frets come out more, so if you run your fingers along like this and cut your fingers, that is also very bad too. Uh, take all these things into consideration. Now, at this point. Say you really like it, and you're getting a great deal on it, but it does have an error like, you know, the pickup sound crappy or something. Remember, there's always, you know, post-market upgrades you can do on these things. So, upgrading pickups, uh, adding capacitors, kill switches, adding locking tuners or something, upgrading the tremolo system, you know, whatever you want, whatever floats your boat, dog, I mean new neck if it's a bolt on I don't know what whatever floats your boat these are all costs so you have to think about it so you, you don't want to undertake a project that's too too big if you're not like totally in love with the guitar so you could be dumping a few hundred down the drain even though you only saved a few hundred it kind of goes it's kind of counterintuitive unless if you like project guitars like me just fixing them up and stuff and repainting them that's that's always pretty cool but yeah just keep an eye out for dings chips chunks chunk head um yep like you know buckle rash on the back is fairly common for people or you could be like me and just wear like adidas pants all the time like a boss actually i'm not wearing any pants right now i'm just wearing boxers but um i don't want my my channel to get banned for being too awesome so anyway um i think that's just about it on this video and just remember don't be afraid to say no if you have any questions on these matters, feel free to ask me. I'm totally down to answering you. Um, I know it's kind of weird. I'm always looking to the side because I'm looking at myself. Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm going to get to drinking some Diet Coke like a boss. Uh, yeah, and hopefully I should have my, you know, uh, shot camera better back for non-webcam quality, but uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you got some insightful uh, tips from this, and like I said, they will be in the, the description, this will all be in the description, so you don't have to watch, you know, this whatever, 13 minutes, something like that, you can just look at those and have at it, just buy that guitar, uh, but seriously, any questions on a guitar that you're iffy about, or a bass? All these concepts apply to the base as well. So thanks for watching. You know, I'm not going to be one of those tools that are like, subscribe, like, comment, you know, do whatever you want, honestly. Drop hentai links in the, the thing, in the description, in a comment if you want, alright? I'm not going to delete it. I'll watch it. I'll thumbs it up. If it's funny, I'll share it to all my friends. Um... I just want to say this though. Um, this shirt I actually am wearing right now, I, th I believe it is a woman's shirt because it's uh, like, see how it's puffed out right now? Like, I just pulled it back like that so I don't look a fag, but she was puffed out. I think this is a girl's shirt because, like, it has some room right here, which, like, I don't really need. I don't, I don't need room right here for, like, my tatas. They're, like,. They're not buxtuous or whatever you call it. I think buxtuous means like they have like no boobs, but they are like fat. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't have a really nice shelf up here. But 
that was irrelevant. Um, yeah, see you later.